Okay, here we are on map five of Outlaws versus the Shock. Um, yeah, if you haven't watched uh, the other uh, previous maps, I recommend you go back and do so. But yeah, either way, here we are, map five. Outlaws are up uh, two to one with uh, one draw. So yeah, here we are starting off on the city center. So we are going to see a, well, I was going to say we're going to see a Brawl Mirror, but we are not because Dante is going to be on the Somber here, which is a very interesting choice here. Um, I don't know if I if I like that, especially since they've been doing so good with these Brawl comps that I feel like you're much better off to just keep it the same way you're going. But all right, so this is the shock just sitting down on the point with the outlaws waiting up on high ground now they're going to look to engage dante off to the side and look for a hack but happy just completely feeds his brains out there so he just rolls just completely away from his team so that's just an easy follow-up for the shock yeah that's that's really bad and yeah so it also forced to translocate from from happy so which of course uh is going to force the the outlaws back. And yeah, so they're just gonna try and get some staggers here. Yeah, okay, so Piggy just goes off off the edge to avoid the ult charge here. But yeah, so not really much in the way of ults up yet. So yeah, I mean you will have a window up very, very quickly for for the shock. Striker not too far away from the dead eye. Okay. Okay, yeah, so that's a uh, very interesting interaction. So, um, first of all, I guess one smaller thing. Um, okay, so before this window, the uh, the outlaws, uh, it's still a little bit early, but the outlaws sent Dante back here onto the point, and then you will see Trujillobin fly back there and just kind of a solo contest, which is good. You know, you don't want your entire team just peeling back. Um, but yeah, then... What ends up happening here is uh, Violet drops this 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 window, which the, the outlaws have been doing a super good job of playing around this entire time. Uh, but now, so they are able to uh, bring up this wall here in the background, preventing everyone from backing up, uh, which is good. And also, there is no May this time for the outlaws. So this is what I was... I'm talking about with this uh, composition. I'm not really crazy about it from the Outlaws. Uh, they were so good at, you know, walling off the windows and then re-engaging with their own window. But here, they're just, I mean, especially on this part of the map, it's just so open. There's not really anywhere you can go for cover. And, uh, yeah, especially not when you don't have a May. So this is just, yeah, easy kills with the, uh, with the window. And, yeah, the, the Outlaws just not having the... The composition to be able to deal with it so that's just a very very easy team fight win if you're the shock and uh, now you start to see like some more of these ultimates come online with the the dead eye and the the blizzard uh dante saw it only at 80 percent to his emp uh which is obviously the big win condition that they're going to be looking for so okay so they go for that Dead eye, but aren't really able to get anything off the back of it. Just able to buy a little bit more time. So here we're going to see the outlaws pushing in. Managed to get a hack onto Nero, and there comes the big EMP. And wow, yeah, FD God, very similar to what we also saw on the on the first point where a big ultimate comes on. Um, so in. On the on the control map, what was it? Lijing Tower. They had they had Piggy on the on the Sigma who used the flux and FD God was just a couple percent away from having his beat available, isn't able to to cancel it. Same thing happens here with Dante and his EMP. Uh, FD God was just like made, like right around ten percent away. Uh, he doesn't get caught in the hack, but uh, with everyone else hacked up. And then Jangu uh, finishing things up with the, with the Earth Shatter. Yeah, there's just no chance for the shock there. But they've already gotten this up to 81%. So um, 
most likely you're going to need two fights if you're the shock here to, to close out this map. And you've got, I mean, pretty much all your ults online. I mean, you've got everything. Like, you should be winning this. And once again, you just engage with that window and without without the May to, to fight back against it, it's just super easy. You just have a super cheap uh, fight win. So really, it's it's only the, the window there that they use. That's it. And if you're able to win a fight with just window, man, you're in a great position. Uh, so yeah, here outlaws are going to have one last attempt to push on the points. Uh, looks like you're going to see some people running in from the right side. Kind of very split up in their approach here. Striker's just going to keep zoning them out. Okay, so Dante is contesting. But, okay, so they just push in, get the wall down here. And, um, okay, they do manage to trade out a little bit, but this is still a, a tough ask. That was a very nice wall to kind of split up and uh, get that Reinhardt down. Striker managed to get the kill into happy. Okay, so that's that's what you're looking for for the for the shock to be able to uh, stabilize this here. Okay, yeah. So they come in with the EMP, but it's just too late at that point, especially with uh, FD God now having his 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 sound barrier up. That's uh, yeah. Well played from shock, but I mean, ultimately, I really think this is just a, a case of uh, compositional difference. The, the entire match, the Outlaws have been so good at uh, just preventing uh, Violet from getting any value out of his, out of his windows and then re-engaging with their own window and uh, cleaning up fights. Without the May, uh, they, just, uh, they just totally lose that. Alright, so it looks like they will be sticking to the May this time around. Um... So yeah, this time we are going back to just the standard uh, meta composition that we've been seeing for Brawl. Yeah, yeah you know, classic stuff here, just fighting for high ground. Happy! My god. So, um, yeah. What else is new? Shock support, dying first. Okay, so yeah. So FD God was just, uh, well, sorry, I didn't mean to go back there, but that's alright. Uh, yeah, so FD God was just in way too deep by himself, and he's just gonna take a bunch of damage and get yeah finished off by by Happy. Easiest kill of his life. So yeah, so I mean, I guess at this point, at least with the shock, you know, FD God's back into this fight very quickly. You can just kind of hang out, give up some early um, you know area control here. So now that FD God's back, they're going to work their way in, but that wall is very nice. They get super very low. Forces out the immortality field, which is big. Trichobin does a good job of uh, uh, knocking Jangu down, so it allows them to get like an actual fight on the point now. Okay. So here we see... So the... The outlaws play the the window here very differently. Usually, you see them back up here. Crimso just immediately uh, drops his own window to shoot back, but the the shock just pushed through it, so they end up just getting no value out of it. So so, violets goes up. Um, it's gonna go through that window very quickly. But yeah, so uh, as you see, I mean, there, there's just nothing coming through from this. Uh, from this window from that loss. So would have preferred to have seen them just like. Uh, back up even more like right off the bat and uh, and then once they've stabilized then go for the for the re-engage like, like they've been doing uh, for most of the maps um, yeah happy does get the kill on the baby diva at the end don't really know if that's gonna mean much I mean diva's obviously pretty quick back to the party but yeah we'll see here oh right and this is just a wonderful uh, striker play here um, you know, this will probably get patched out pretty soon, but, uh, you know, a nice little cheese strategy. But, hey, you know, you, you'll take the wins where you can get them. Just, uh, yeah, easy clean up with the big shatter after that. Yeah, that one absolutely blew my mind when I saw that one live. And uh, anyone who hasn't seen it before, the way it worked was they... Had him standing up on this bench, and then they may wall boosted him up, and then he was able to just kind of jump onto it. So, <clears throat> pretty interesting play. So, early on here, they'll able to get up to close to 50%. Um, 
Yeah, a lot, like almost all the ultimates available for, for Outlaws now. Uh, Shock not really hurting for ultimates though, but good position. Okay, so that Blizzard just uh, gets no value. I mean, they, they force them back, but that's about it. Um, this window is kind of... Ooh! Window... Yeah, yeah, I mean, the window really was only there to, you know, prevent them from pushing in further, but Piggy just lobs in the bomb, and yeah, once again, Shock Support dies first. Okay, yeah, now uh, Outlaws have the big ult advantage, and they're going to push in with this uh, wall. Or not wall with the window. And yeah, here they're... Ooh, this is a pretty late beat. I don't know if that's necessary, but... Um... But yeah, I mean, they, they played that engage very well. Um... Just waited for for the shock to use uh, their ultimates and to... Uh, you know, wait for all those to, to go down. And then once they're ready, they push back in with their own window and just... Just made the most out of it. So, cap in overtime. So, really uh, no room for error at this point. Uh, they do have a pretty good ult economy here. Both of their DPS ultimates and uh, Earth Shatter as well. So, going to be looking to get uh, a lot of value out of those. Uh, Shock moving in onto the point. Striker is going to try and just uh, give them some free real estate there. Um, so yeah, this is a, the same interaction that we've been seeing from these two teams uh, with the windows, except now it's with the with the high noon. Uh, Shock push forward with their high noon, and then the the outlaws uh, once that goes down counter with their own. But we'll see. FD God just immediately drop his beat because you know Druby doesn't have one to counter, so they're just going to try and run over this uh, McCree who's in. Uh, He's, uh, even though he, he he can do a lot of damage very quickly in uh, once he's doing his dead eye, but he's also very very vulnerable. So they're just gonna try and run down onto him, but they're able to kind of kite him away, and that's a huge shatter. And Happy manages to get the D mech. So man, that's uh that's very well played. So they they managed to protect uh, Happy just long enough and. Uh, the, the aggressive play from the Shock just ends up not working out, and they just kind of throw away their their beat without really getting any value out of it. Um, yeah, and Outlaws in the meantime have built up their next self-destruct and their next window. Um, oh yeah, once again, we see Shock with the first window, and then here comes the Outlaws with theirs pushing back. Happy gets a nice kill on the super, and yeah, I mean at this point it's just it's just cleaning up. And yeah, obviously, of course, anytime you're winning a fight with just window, very very good spot. Um, but yeah, I mean, it really really feels like in <clears throat> most situations it's better to let the enemy use window first and then counter with your own. Or if you're going to use window first, you, you really need to make sure you hit the proper May wall and that you really go aggressive on it. Um, yeah, so here at this point, yeah, I mean, the outlaws are just kind of happy to stay up on the, the high ground, keep building up bolts while, while Piggy just kind of keeps dipping uh, up and down to contest the point. Uh, but yeah, either way, this will be the last fight for this, for this point. Happy looking to just create some space. Doesn't use it. A nice block from Jongi there. Okay, Nero. Okay, so Nero ultimately is not able to get anything with the Blizzard. It just really only uh, zones him out. And um, yeah, so you really, really would have uh, much preferred to see uh, someone get, get frozen up here from this ultimate. Um, and <clears throat> crucially, once again, just like every single fight, it feels like San Francisco's support dies first. But yeah, so yeah, they use that. Doesn't get anything. Piggy whiffs his self destruct, but at this point, Juby knows. Okay, there's there's gonna be no there's gonna be no counter beat coming out, so he can just uh, uh, beat as easily as he wants. Um, Dante is gonna go ahead and throw his own. 
his own uh, Blizzard end to try and freeze up this this Reinhardt, but uh, Striker and I guess this this window over here from Violet will be forced to really uh, will force the Outlaws to really not be able to take advantage of it. I would imagine. Okay, yeah, and and Super is just able to LOS his uh, that that Blizzard. So yeah, they're able to to keep him up for the time being, but the stun is pretty nice, and then he's looking very low now. FD God getting the kill onto Piggy, so yeah, Piggy. I, let's see what what happened with Piggy there. Oh, okay, so Piggy went to contest Striker with his um with his high noon to really try and uh, create some more space, but uh, ends up dying for it. They get nothing with that, and yeah. So with that, the shock managed to eke out the. Um, win on control. So, yeah, I mean they they managed to do that pretty well. You know they uh, they get the the early fight win, then they get uh, another uh, to to well to take control of the point in the very beginning. Then they you know get a little cheese fight with the uh, with their striker flashbang strategy uh, worked out very nicely. Um, and yeah, so uh, and then they take like one more uh, you know staggered fight where they. Um, are able to really uh, uh, keep that percentage going all the way up to 99%. So at that point, they just know, okay, we just need to win the the one more fight. And um, yeah, ultimately in that last fight, they're they're just able to 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 take advantage of some misplays from the from the outlaws. And yeah, send this to the uh, the map six. So yeah we'll we'll see how uh we'll see how that how the series ends uh next uh so be on the lookout for that and uh as always uh hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you in the next one peace